number three seed because the number two seed is actually going to go to our top qualifying European team. Yeah. So we will find out uh, those more intricate details on Friday, but tonight we will know who the first two teams are at IPL6. Yep, and oh, right away Hot Mustard gets hit with one shot from De Bears. Good to say that name again. As uh, it gets another shot as well from Carnage. And a lot of activity going on over here by Hot Mustard. He you know, has just a bunch of pressure being applied to him. Uh, some very good movement, though, by Complexity. And right away, just shutting him down. Granted, uh, Complexity had not played a lot of Iron Fist. So this is a first for them. Uh, they're doing pretty well thus far. <laughs> now we are going to have Carnage attacking here. Carnage, the leader of this team. Uh, one of the guys are pretty much responsible for bringing them to Complexity. And we'll see what they could do here. Uh, team formerly known as Asphyxia. Placed 7th, uh, 8th, I believe, at 6th, uh, uh, They, six, they did get 7th, 8th. They got last in their group, yeah. unfortunately, at uh, But they kept IPL the same five. roster, though, which, yeah. which is interesting because, you know, uh, Epsilon pretty much played, I would say, relatively solid, just barely not, you know, making it into the event mm -hmm. um, due to technicalities. And uh, they broke up, but Complexity uh, opted to stay together. You know, perhaps it was a lack of talent pool. Maybe they just felt like their chemistry was really good. Who knows? I mean, it's it's always uh, it's always something. Ooh. But Felons with the uh, forget about it shot, as he just shot it and he forgot it. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Carnage gets taken out by that. I like that solidarity there with the uh, Monomaniac Esports logo. And De Bears just has his own little logo. <laughs> But uh, that's that's a perfect spot for complexity stuff to go if, yeah. uh, if these players ever come back and watch these VODs. But Pop Trunk actually on the attack now. Missed by one centimeter. That's a bit unfortunate. You hate to see that pop oh, up. 13.8 nice meter hit is a little bit better as it actually eliminates one of the defenders. And Pop Trunk is in good position now with three armor uh, still on him and only two defenders to get through. Yep, and uh, Pop Trunk getting hit one, so he's going to have two armor left here. 15 seconds left until the goal becomes live. So he's going to be playing a lot of this middle left side here. So he'll be probably rotating back and forth from mid to left, mid to left, and just trying to play this area and get like a, a little bit of an upper hand as you see there trying to go with that wall jump. And uh, not, oh man, just getting hit by another rocket. Good prediction there. That was, would be by Griffin. And now the goal will be live. Nine seconds on the clock. Pop Chunk trying to make his way in. Oh, barely missing a rocket. Ooh. Landing one shot in front. Now it's going to be three seconds left. Pop Trunk needs to make something happen here. Can't Time lands a shot. Time runs out. Defense prevails. <laughs> as it is two to one now. And De Bears attacking for complexity. So that was some, uh, I would say, well played defense by complexity. They know where they need to be placing their shots. And, uh, of course, I expect no less from these guys. They were a team that I thought was going to go really far in IPL5, <laughs> um, which, they, you know, they put up some matches. They they gave, uh, I believe it was Planet Express, a run for their money. Yeah. And, um, they you know. They took a game off uh, what's now known as Curse, but uh, with a slightly different roster. The Bears attacking in now. Uh, we were just talking to Griffin right before this game began. Uh, we were saying that the complexity guys were a bit of uh, ghosts recently. They just haven't been playing in a lot of stuff. And um, I asked Griffin, like, what do you think of these new maps? Have you even got a chance to look at him yet? And he says he played his first uh, scrim on Iron Fist just before he connected to this server and didn't even get to finish it. So wow. uh, definitely MME has the advantage uh, when it comes to actually map, knowing the maps here. Uh, De Bears struggling a little bit. I mean, obviously, you can always fall back on your shot a little bit, even if you don't know the map. Yeah. Uh, if you can fall back on your shot and fall back on your own movement and, you know, just uh, eliminate everybody, then map knowledge is not super duper important. But uh, <laughs> defending, definitely, it's nice to know what those uh, OP defensive spots actually are. Uh, all these fences here, of course, are the first thing you want to look at when you're judging uh, where to stand defensively. This one's great where Carnage is. De Bear's a little more open, but Felons would have to shoot up at him, um, meaning there's there's less of him actually revealed to shoot at. So yeah. uh, Felons does get pegged on the left side by Griffin. He's going to work his way around. He shoots a rocket there. It looks like they changed the uh, the sound and the graphic there for when you shoot to make a rocket. It sound like it's not like you achieved yeah. something. <laughs> so it's not like a it's not like a huge alert anymore. It's a, a gray zero with a, a little bit of a muted sound. Yeah, I'm actually really happy about that. A lot of changes uh, were just uh, released with uh, beta 2.1 that just came out today. Mm -hmm. Uh, most notably, my favorite feature, if you follow me on Twitter, I put a, posted a picture of it, the new interface when you log into the game. looks very interactive and social, and I like that. <laughs> and I'm telling you, Josh, it's yep. the little things, bro. It is the little, it's the little things, things, but it's big little things are, are pretty big, too. Big. And you want to know what's big? <laughs> you want to know what's IPL6. That's what big, big things, IPL6. That's true. It's, and uh, that's what these guys are playing for. It's going to be 16 teams this time, not eight. We're going to have more from North America, more from Europe. And a and, double limb uh, bracket. Right? And, and more casters. 
More casters. Uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> but uh, I don't, so, I don't know I if we're announcing any of that. What? They hate us. I think people hate us. People don't hate us. They oh, I mean, love they, us. They, they might hate you, though. I mean, they love me, so... It, oh, I just said they hate you. Yeah, but, but well, that's just clearly wrong, though, so I don't okay, know if you're so drunk. I'm lying, so I'm lying. Are you drunk or are you no, lying? No, why would I ever claim to be inebriated on air? That's just... I that's, don't know. That's Tom Well, Fullery, something's obviously wrong with Something. you if you're, if you're claiming people don't like me. It's <laughs> well, just, it's just, incorrect. Just, just getting back to the action like, Is it like glue? a true caster. Is it prescription <laughs> drugs? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> you're so awful, man. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you guys know, but me Pain and Josh medication? are me and Josh are uh, taking a romantic brocation. That's a bromantic, uh, a brocation. bromantic brocation to uh, Paris, France, to go Ooh, visit the la. guys over at Nadio, and uh, that should be pretty fun. I don't know why they're sending us. I think, I think they they should have sent Ryan. He do, probably, do you know any French? Uh, not at all. I took and, French for three years in high school. So and I'm, you don't I'm remember good a to go. Word of No, it. I remember planning. You're you're on your own though. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna, Look at that. He's going to leave me to die. All right. Well, in any case, going to the action here. We'll, we'll talk about our adventures in Paris in a little bit. Hot right. Mustard now uh, is going to have to deal with oh. two. Never mind. One defender there is it is going to be a 22-meter hit. Hot Mustard looking really good here. Seven seconds on the clock before that goal becomes live. And now Hot Mustard knows that there's something going to go down. Were those, were those little... That grass was, grass, like, off the ground. Yeah. The grass <laughs> off the ground. It's so awesome. The grass like, oh, oh my God. God. He, need, and, uh, if he needed to hit that laser for the highlight he reel. Did, he did. But he gets it in. He gets it anyway. That's the first attack round that we've actually had. That would have been a top play if he had that. If he had leapt, leapt into the air, leapt, <laughs> if he had leapt into the air and gotten that last laser, that definitely would have been top five material. Oh man, you need to definitely keep an eye for top fives on tonight's games because uh, Friday, but we didn't cast Monday, so we don't have any plays from that. And Friday uh, is just gonna be one match, and the video will already be up. So you know what we're gonna do. Joshi and, and, and GB's top five. Top five casting moments. Casting moments? Oh, geez. I will be amazing because, you we know. Could, yeah, I, we do have some games who, to draw who from. Who was it that said that we. We, we do 30%. We do 30%. Casting. I think it was Nutri Green. It was, yeah, Green or Poor Billy, one of those guys. One of those. And they shouldn't be salty. That's I mean, a good I, shot. I, I appreciate it. That was actually a really good shot. Carnage opening it up here nicely. Uh, there will be two defenders left. Felons and Pop Trunk. Of course, Felons getting those long range shots oh. with his laser. But uh, Pop Trunk is the one that's causing a little bit of disturbance. Felons are able to land a shot. Carnage looping around the corner. Can't do anything. Pop Trunk gets the takeout there on Carnage. Eliminates him. And uh, now we're going to have Pop Trunk attacking here. Five to three is a score. Complexity showing watch that bears. rust. I'm going to watch the Bears. I just the decided. Bears. So we're watching a defender right now. I'm curious because the Bears hasn't really had a lot of time at the map. It looks like he was trying to get back up on that post but missed the jump a little bit. Uh, he, he did go up there earlier on. So now they're trying to do some spotting. The Bears sticking to his station. We can switch over to Carnage behind the fence. He's probably got a better spot. Yeah, he's on. there on the right side. And there's too. Griffin actually all the way in the top right trying to stay covered. He sees Pop Trunk down there. Does not want to give him the open shot, of course. But uh, this is, you know, we just took a view from all three defenders. You can see how they're evenly spread around the map. No one's abandoning their station. Now we'll switch to Pop Trunk, who did lose a chunk of armor from Carnage, that mid uh, defender, and also missed a shot against the Bears. Carnage lands another one from across the way, and Pop Trunk suddenly is in bad shape. The goal is open. He's got one armor left. That's going to be really difficult to get through these three guys. Yeah, it's not really uh, necessary for him to win this round. They are up 5 to 3, but it will be good padding uh, oh. for the lead here. Pop Trunk missing that shot as he comes down. Three seconds left on the clock. Misses the <laughs> shot by two centimeters. Where are Pop the Trunk making his way in. <laughs> and then 69 percent there that was a he very close it. one that, yeah, that could have gone <laughs> bad real fast there um 69 and of course carnage with the lol you gotta love him you LOL, gotta love him. he does on the lol with them of course well uh, i don't know i think he yellowed up before that happened no 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 i was right oh, there really? okay. i literally saw that <laughs> anyway um gotta love that guy so moving on though we are gonna have the bears here on the attack playing the right side defenders know exactly where he is because of that large open space there and it seems like this is a pretty popular portion of the map to play this top area where the blue spawn or where the uh, defense spawns in um um, and uh, we say, oh, wow, we had a uh, shot there for zero as the rocket connected with the laser. And the Bears now trying to make a play happen, throwing Ooh. down another laser, can't connect with it, and wow. misses. And get, he gets uh, sent up in the air, man. Yeah, Felon's double tap there actually to finish off the round was pretty good. The Bears <laughs> going to be attacking now. And... Uh, we saw him a little bit earlier on. Actually, no, Felons is going to be attacking. Missed by one centimeter. This wow. guy. This guy. He loves his long-range shots. There was a top five a couple weeks ago where he landed a 127 and a 125 or yeah. something like that. Uh, ridiculous stuff. Felons I don't know how he does that. I can't even to... land a freaking 10. <laughs> I, just, I just, before this uh, cast, I was playing in a uh, in like a friendly pickup. Yeah. 
and um, I was just like getting pressured. We were playing on, uh, I believe it was Daybreak. Mm -hmm. We were getting pressured so hard by the by the defenders, <laughs> and it just sucks, you know, because like I'm working on my mouse skills right. and and uh, just looking at these players play and like how effortless it is for them. I, I respect them so much coming from consoles and wow. playing with controllers. This is a completely different experience, but now Felons here is in Trapped. a bad <laughs> spot as he actually, oh wow, that was another one of those shoot it and forget it rockets by DeBears there. He shot it and just walked away like a G and ended up uh, getting that round win. Now it's gonna be six to five here. The lead still in the favor of MME. Griffin can change that though and tie this one up here. All right, let's see what he's got planned. This is a map that's still relatively new to him. Uh, we can actually take the overhead and I'll show you a couple of different routes. This one's a really tight choke uh, that he's, uh, Tatar actually is the creator of this map. He actually opened it up by allowing the player to walk over here on the right side where Griffin just is, or actually still is. Um, but there's a jump pad back here in the uh, back of the map. That nice has been altered quite a bit as well because it used to be that jump pad would leap over that fence that you see there on the left, and then the defenders could basically just stare up at him and be safe uh, yeah. under the fence. And now that jump pad just barely kicks you up at all, uh, and you, you do have to deal with the person behind the fence. But Griffin does get eliminated. So let's basically... I just want to show you guys what this map used to be. It used to be this <laughs> choke. Can we have a before and after picture, Chris? Mm, this is hard to... No, I don't expect you to do that. Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm just messing. So this choke used to be the only way up the middle. Now you can see there's plenty. There's ramps. There's wall jumps yeah, available. Yeah, he added this. He added uh, that walkway, This too. used to be a bunker, if yeah. you remember. This bu There was mm -hmm. a bunker here instead of these three ramps. This jump pad back here leapt all the way up over this fence, and now it's just a little, oh. little kicker. And now uh, Hot Mustard is just eliminating people, so that's what we'll pay attention to now. Yeah, but you know, you, you can see that changes were made, and that's the cool thing. Me and Josh had a chance to mess around with the map editor. I'm gonna take a serious stab at it, like at home, and uh, maybe make a, a fun like melee or park. royal map. Yeah, <laughs> just, or the skateboard park map, which I think people really liked. Uh, <laughs> in any case, so let's go ahead and see what's up with Hot Mustard here. With one second on the clock before the goal becomes live, goal will be live now. Hot Mustard going to jump right to the goal here and try and get oh. a real gully. It's going to be 4.5 <laughs> meters. The goal can now be captured. Oh, Hot no, Mustard drops to the bottom. He's going to no. have four seconds, and he needs to nail this shot if he wants to win, and he's going to move in on it. Oh, what man. What percent was it? It didn't say. It didn't even say what percent it was. Man, that was, must have been really close, but Hot Mustard blew it. Uh, by falling, That's obviously. That's insane. Why didn't they show it? I don't know. It why had to have been like show. a percentage. It I had think to be it was like really 99. high. <laughs> 99 pounds, but a percent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really weird why it yeah. didn't show. I don't know. Uh, Beta 2.1 did have a couple of issues this morning with uh, maps and shadows uh, not working out correctly. Some There were some sound issues or something as well that were fixed. Uh, so it is possible that they haven't caught all the little bugs yet uh, from their content updates. So uh, two defenders left. Carnage is actually giving Complexity their best look at a successful attacking round so far. I don't know if he realizes that's not a wall jumpable texture that was on his left there. Yeah. Uh, only the old castle slash brick oh. textures are, are wall jumpable. But Carnage again. This could be a round. He's in great position. All he has to do is pick off one more defender, and he can tie things up uh, realistically. Man, he there does, he does so. it. Good job, seven Carnage. To seven. That was actually a really good run there. Um, obviously, j just very accurate laser shots. And uh, when you when you think about it, it, it's it's just typical Carnage. He's <laughs> he's a very solid attacker. You know, with that background, he's just a very talented player. In any case, so see what's going on with Pop Trunk as he is going to do his best to make this one 8-7. to seven. We have a tie game here, so we could very well see this go into extra rounds for game number one in this best of three series. Pop Trunk seeing the pressure. He gets hit, but he does manage to take out Carnage. Joe DeBears with the uh, squeaker shot there on Pop Trunk. Rockets flying everywhere, and uh, Carnage very frustrated with his position on the fence. It doesn't seem to be working out for him, but it is a really good position here. He just needs to be careful. That rocket should have hit him, but it was so close. And uh, great movement there by Pop Trunk. Five seconds left on the clock. Goal is about to become live. Wow, these rockets are just basically singeing him oh, wow. as they fly past. But finally, he does get pegged from the right side there by DeBears. DeBears with nine defensive rockets is the star uh, defensively for complexity. We've got eight rockets apiece for Pop Trunk and Felons over on the other side. DeBears at the uh, attack once more. We'll see if he's got a route planned out. We saw Griffin try to work this uh, left side and then head back toward the middle to Bears uh, trying to get an open shot on a defender on the left side. So this little hill maneuver actually kind of reminds me of Crossroads 
uh, the, the older map that we used for the IPL5 map pool because it lets you get a view of the rest of the map. It lets you put all the defenders in front of you uh, so you can see where they're at. But now uh, some players are actually saying that these fences that you see a lot of uh, on the new maps and actually some of the old maps, the fences are a little bit too OP and not necessary. They'd rather have blind corners or... Um, you know, something that isn't quite so strong for defense to be able to just hide behind and, and dance around. If, if it's just a blind column, you know, there's a lot more danger involved. You think mm -hmm. like archways, you have those two columns on the sides, yeah. no, no fences on that map, and it made for some interesting little firefights, and well, it I, allows I, mistakes to be made. I think that, you know, obviously it's always good to have something. Felon's always going for that <laughs> shot. <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> He's hit it two times before. I think that it's good to have something like a fence there to create that pressure, that anticipation of, you know, like, what am I going to do or if I'm an attacker or the defender kind of with Whoa. that. Oh, Whoa. look at the pressure here being applied by Carnage <laughs> with the triple tap. Nice. Taking out Fallon saying, yeah, you're going to go for that long range shot. I'm just going to put you away right here. So very good stuff there. And now Griffin is going to be attacking. He could very well put this one away this entire game. Tries to go for the long range as well. Can't connect. But what I was saying was that, you know, you have the fences, and the fences really do add a lot to the game itself. You know, it adds that pressure for both sides, the attack and the defend. Uh, but I could see why some players would want to minimize the use of fences because, it, you know, it really is like you have, like, this disadvantage of seeing exactly where the attacker is. Um, but, hey, you know what? I'm willing to see if we can uh, try that out in the future. I just don't think it's going to happen right now with, uh, with the map pretty much being finalized at this point. Uh, but, you know, for well, my map, it I'm going to it. It seems like they're never final because every day... <laughs> Every the map day makers happens. message Ryan and they're like, hey, I, I added a fence or I added Ooh. a tunnel or I added Griffin to eliminating everybody. Uh, so that's Spitfire's newest feature, actually, is, is Griffin just uh, eliminating everybody and maybe oh, winning the game. wow. Look right at that. There. Wow. What a round. What a, that was a great turnaround there for, for complexity. They, they were down that whole game until Carnage and Griffin were able to pick it up and, and take the win. So that was a fantastic, fantastic yeah. matchup by complexity. It, you know, they this is their second time playing <laughs> Iron Fist. It just shows how talented this squad is, not taking anything away from MME because they are also a very good team. But complexity, man, that is a team that will just surprise you every single time. Mm. It's just... It, it kills me every time. They got it, man. They yeah. they basically just sat there, defended as much as they could, let one slip uh, to either Pop Trunk or oh no, it was Hot Mustard Hot actually Mustard. was yeah. the first successful attack round. They let one slip and then easily just fought back once they got the groove going. Carnage with that triple tap sandwich between those two attack rounds. Uh, really good stuff. Great turnaround very quickly there for yeah. complexity. Mono is probably thinking what 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 did we do wrong? But I know. Uh, we're getting the. Uh, Play me off the stage music I love again. This. That's so. Uh, we're gonna go take a quick break, and we'll be back with game two on the other side.